So this one is for all of you ground dwellers. I got a new to me uh, tent. It's a uh, drop X-Mid one person tent. So this is the first version of it. They actually have two more versions. Uh, the second one, I think this is still poly and the second one is still poly, but it's got a little bit of changes. And then the, the pro version is uh, Dyneema. So I just got this tent in the mail. I bought it from Backpackers Gear and Flea Market on Facebook. Um, I'm going to set it up and uh, check it out while I'm making a video. So uh, this would be my first time ever setting it up. I watched a video on YouTube and you can learn every, everything you need to know from YouTube, right? This on the drop version and I think the second version the uh, inner part of the tent is removable um, the, the pro it's not removable so I don't know if this tent has uh, the, the uh, removable part attached so I could just set it all up at once or if it's if it's separated and then I'll have to set up the inner part after I set up the rain fly. That's one of the things that uh, drew me to this tent, the, the ability to, uh, so, some double wall tents you have to um, set up the inner, the bug net part and then set up the rain fly over the top of it. And then that's just getting all your stuff wet. So uh, with this one, um, you can set up the rain fly if they're separated, the inner and outer. You can set up the rain fly first, the tarp part of it, and then get out of the rain and set up the inner part. Uh, it's got some stakes he sent with it, said uh, said these were the ones that came with it. And he also sent me the Durston sticker too, so that was pretty cool. So the inner part is attached, so that's good, but it's taking me a second to figure out where everything's at, but I'm getting it under control now. There's the stake, and there's the stake. This ground's pretty hard, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the stakes in there or not. So the check and pose, I wasn't sure on the measurements. I've seen some things online that said 120 centimeters and some said 150. So I'm just going to, I got it set at 120 and then I can adjust them up if I need to.
Okay, as you've seen, the uh, stakes, the ground's really hard, the stakes keep popping out because they're not in there very good. But uh, it's set up, so. Uh, we will check it out now, get a little bit closer look at it. Okay, one thing I like about it is, uh, th and this is tin is made by Dan Durston. I think you can find their website at durstongear.com. One of the things I like about it is it's got the uh, uh, waterproof zipper. A lot of tents do not do that. Um, I should stake this out, this short side. Uh, stake that out. I'm not going to. I'm just trying to hurry up and film the video. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna get the rain fly. Figured I'd put the camera back up on the tripod so I'm not making me seasick moving all around. It's got little toggles. Uh, I might figure out something different to do with that. And uh the new, the Pro has a magnet. It's got a magnet on the tent there, and it's got the little straps got a magnet on, and it attaches there pretty good. They have uh, um, this little piece in here, so you can. Uh, some kind of plastic tube or something in there to stiffen it so it holds out the uh, holds the vent open so you get uh, that kind of station out um, as you can see in here there's plenty of room to keep your pack set your gear out all that kind of stuff because there's definitely not any room inside the bug net part of it um, to have any gear other than the bare, uh, bare essentials but um, I, I don't know for it's 27 ounces I think so uh, a little under two pounds um, I think it should be a pretty good little tent and on this side over there you got the same vestibule area so you can put stuff over there maybe put your pack see my my poles are crooked. I got them definitely at the wrong height. And that's why that pole is crooked. Uh, so I have to I have to play with that and see what I need the height adjusted to. So I'll remember it next time. But you can lean your pack up against there, and then here in the front, store your gear, your cooking, or whatever. So that'd be pretty nice. Um, so even though you don't have room inside the tent itself to have the gear with you, you got the room in the shelter uh, to keep it out of the weather and everything so pretty nice there's a pocket up here uh, that, that runs down there's a divider right there and then another section there be nice to put headlamp phone something like that up out of the way so you find it if you need it that's good um, this tent I bought it used like I said got just a little bit of dirt on the bottom and I, I, after I film the video I'll check it all out in really good detail but it looks pretty good pretty happy with it pretty happy with it and then I so I was watching one of the videos that that Dan Durston made and he was talking about this uh, hook so the inner part you got the shock cord that comes down and attaches here. And uh, there's a little bit of growth gain right there. He said that you could take the uh, take this hook and stick it in the growth gain for quick, easy attaching and unattaching. Um, but if you're going to pack it with the inner in it, all, um, so it's all like one piece, he said it's a lot better to hook that hook to the... Uh, to this plastic hook here because um, then it'll stay attached as you're folding it and stuffing it in your stuff sack and and then unfolding it and everything said if you put it in the 
gross gain a lot of times it could pop out while you're packing and unpacking and everything then your tent is not attached anymore um, up here is I don't know if you can see it but there's a metal grommet up here and it's got the reinforced patch this is a little clip you can unclip the net and you can also adjust the tension on it right there it's the same thing on that side and uh, got reinforced corners down on each corner you can see that and uh, all the stitch work I'm gonna go all over it really good just to see I've ne this is the first one of Dan's of Durston's products I've ever had so I'm gonna go over it with a fine tooth comb just to just to see the quality of his work it's got these tie outs here so it's, if it's really windy you can uh, um, tension them out too you could do it with four stakes uh, I, I think it's a lot better and everybody on the videos I've watched have said staking out this stake here so you're staking out this short side staking that out um, to keep you know so if you have it open like this side over here that uh, and have this this side staked down then you know it'll, it'll protect it from the weather and everything you could stake it out there uh, so it's not blowing around uh, I also seen in one of Durston's videos I've seen some of the people t um, taking this tie out and tying it like straight kind of in line with the with the tent but uh, he suggested to kind of do it in line with this seam here because uh, that's the biggest he said that's the biggest thing to catch wind so if you pulled the tension on that line in this direction it would be better so makes sense um, this side's the same way you got the little vent there tie out so you can roll up this big part of this thing so you can have both sides open get a lot of airflow um, pretty nice I got four stakes in here now you figure if you stake out the doors you know you're looking at six but uh i guess you can get by with if you're just going to have one door open just sticking that door out so i'd say five stakes minimum but it, you could have the four on the corners one on each door that's six if you did the tie outs on each side that's seven eight and then it also has a tie out here in the middle that's nine and uh one on the opposite side that would be 10 and there's one here so that's 11 one on the other side that's 12. so you can get by with anywhere from four stakes to a maximum of 12. i am definitely going to get the sewing machine out and make some kind of little loop there or something to attach my trek and pull to i think that'd be a really good idea Okay, so that was it. Quick setup. Like I said, first time I've ever had one. First, just right out of the bag. Um, I, overall, I like it. One downside for me is, uh, I, I, especially in the wintertime, like to take my dog. Uh, summertime, it could be really hot and miserable for him. So taking him in the wintertime, there's really not room for him inside the bug net area. There is room in, under the vestibule, uh, vestibule but um, I like to have him inside the tent with me. So it's an issue I can work around. Uh, like when I hammock camp, he's not inside any kind of bug netting or anything there either. So it'll all work out. Have him a little ground cloth there and he'll be good to go. Um, and I think there's room, especially if I put him on the other side um, so I can have my stuff here and be getting in and out here and all that kind of stuff. That'll work. Um, I'm curious for any of you people that hammock camp and tent camp uh, what if, if you can comment for somebody else that's watching this and kind of deciding hammocks tents whatever if you can leave a comment um, saying what what what's your thinking whenever you're planning a trip if you know if you switch back and forth between hammocks and tents uh, for each trip that you go on what what's your thinking 
uh, on on your decision of to take a hammock or tent. I'm sure some of it's really obvious if you're going out in the desert, hammock's not a good option, you know, but um, is there any other thing you take into consideration uh, on the, uh, on whether you take a hammock or a tent? I tend to take a tent more in the winter time um, because then my dog can get in there and he's nice and comfortable. I can keep a really good eye on him and everything's good to go. Um, I tend to tent camp more in the winter time because with hammocks, by the time you get your underquilt and your quilt and your hammock and your tarp and your straps and your this and your that, and it's winter time and you're carrying a lot more clothing and all that kind of stuff, um, it can be uh, it's extra weight. Um, I think my tarp, hammock tarp, weighs right about two pounds. This has got everything in it, you know. Uh, th this whole tent it weighs under two pounds, so. Uh, with my hammock, you know, then you got to throw in the weight of the hammock and the straps and the underquilt and all that kind of stuff So you're adding a lot of extra weight. So for me uh, summertime Tents can be miserable staying in them because uh, um, They're hot and don't have a lot of ventilation. This is the first tent I had like this So maybe the cross flow if you open up both doors and have that cross flow of ventilation uh, Maybe that'll make a difference hopefully but um that that's my thinking 99 percent of the time sometimes it's a location there's not a good place to hang a hammock where i'll be going or it's kind of iffy but i could always i could always figure out something to hang a hammock and worst case scenario i can actually set up my hammock on the ground if i need to especially if it's just for one night but um i tend to camp in a tent more in the winter time because uh trying to save weight from the extra clothing and all that kind of stuff and I don't use down um, so synthetic especially when you're having a synthetic quilt or sleeping bag and a synthetic under quilt that takes up a lot of volume in your pack really really quickly and to do that in the winter and add all your extra clothing and all that kind of stuff you're carrying a pretty big pack before you know it especially if you're going to go for four or five days or more um, so if you can uh, hopefully this is uh, helpful to somebody that's thinking about a new tent or whatever. Um, uh, this, the second version is still poly also, but it's got some improvements done on it. And the pro version, the third version of this tent is Dyneema. So it, and it's quite a bit lighter than this one, even though this one's under two pounds. That uh, pro version's even less than that. Um, anyway, if you can, leave a comment. For anybody else, um, any thoughts on the tent or, or tents versus hammocks or why you choose for that particular trip, a tent or a hammock, any of that stuff will be helpful for the other people watching and I would greatly appreciate it and I'm sure they would too.